All right, so Ben, uh, you're going to be the first one to try out the new uh, Crytek CRBs today on the field. You're going to let some uh, some experienced players and some new players try it out and see what they think, all right? If I don't let it go. Yeah, and then we're going to talk to you afterwards, <laughs> and uh, hopefully you'll give it back. <laughs> Alright Ben, so uh, that was the first game with the new Trident CRB, what would you think? Very good, that's accurate and kept me going, taking out lots of people, only problem is, is keeping up with BBs. Keeping it so shooting faster oh, than yeah. you, it's only got a 9.6 battery in it. Well, it's still shooting smooth and I'm putting a lot of BBs down range, so. I saw you take out, take out a couple players, so. Uh, I noticed earlier you said that the weight was pretty impressive. It's very, very it, lightweight. It's lighter. Yeah. I have a G and G, a GMP, and it, it's heavy compared to this thing. This thing's light, slender, easy to move around with, good to poke out around corners. It's just all around pretty good. Cool. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for testing it out for us. Thank you. All right. All right, Troy, so this is your first game uh, with the new Crytek. Uh, we're letting a few players test them out today, but this is actually yours that you actually bought. I did. I did hassle you about that a little bit. Of course, of course. So, uh, so you're going to try it out and let us know what you think after the game, right? For sure. All right. All right, Troy. Uh, so far, you've got one game in with the uh, with the new Crytek. What do you think so far? So far, I can't say enough good things about it. Okay. I was performing stock just as well mm -hmm. as my SR10 was performing before the upgrades I did to it. Okay, that's a good sign. I literally hit someone maybe 80 to 90 feet away. I was just doing suppressing fire, and then he pulled up his dead rag, and yeah, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> so even even with the uh, the short barrel and the CQB velocity, you're still able to play uh, at uh, field barrels, field play without any issue. Velocity. I'm using two fives instead of two O's, and I am being a pretty competitive player out here. I think I can't say enough good things about it. Really lightweight with the rail system. I can't wait to get some accessories on it, and. Uh, yeah, it's uh, one of the finest things I've had out of the box, and I've handled VFCs, KWAs, and other high-end rifles. Awesome. Well, good to hear, man. I'm glad you're having a good time. I'm having a great time. Thanks for having us out here. <laughs> All right, next up to testing the new Crytek uh, CRB, we've got uh, Airsoft Hasmin here checking out the gun. So uh, you haven't played a game with it yet, but what do you yeah. what do you think so far? Just uh, I like it. the aesthetics. Nice and lightweight. Nice and light, yeah. I'm excited to You're going to go shoot some people with in the next game? <laughs> All right, I'm going to be watching you on the field, trying to get some footage, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you uh, take some players out. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, watch Okay, Jasmine, so you didn't get a lot of shooting in that time because uh, you died pretty fast, but yeah. we're going to let you play with it again uh, a little bit later so you can get some a uh, little bit better impressions. And here's Arnold in the <laughs> you video. You need to be out in the open or we can take pictures of you. Don't do that lone wolf. No. <laughs> we couldn't find you for the first half of the game. <laughs> Yeah, he found me and then well, after I died. Exactly. So, uh, like I said, we'll uh, we'll let you play with it again uh, a little bit later on this afternoon. But so far, what do you think? So far, 
I love it. I yeah. absolutely love it. The only thing was that I found the selector switch a little hard to move. Okay. I think that was just my gloves. Is my it because it's brand stiff? New. Maybe because it's yeah. brand new? Yeah. I think once it gets broken in, it'll be fine. But I was like, wait, wait. And then I, like, okay, I got it. <laughs> Other than that, I absolutely love it. I want it. I want to take it home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, we'll let you go ahead and uh, try it again a little bit later. But thanks, uh, thanks for testing it out Thank for you us. For all right, no problem. <laughs> All right, now we have our next test player, and we've got Jesse. I'm uh, going to be playing, we're going to be doing a uh, capture the flag game on the entire length of the field, so it should be a pretty good game involving a lot of different types of terrain. Um, haven't played a game with it yet, but what do you think so far, just the, the feel of it? Well, my, I already thought my gun was light, but actually holding this, it's significantly lighter. It's still sturdy. Um, with the, I forget what this fucking deal is called, but uh, the sling mount for a sling yeah. mount, yeah, mm -hmm. it doesn't make a huge difference, but it is noticeable. Uh, mine actually sticks out laterally. This mm -hmm. one angles a little bit. Um, it does a little bit more flush on my rig, so that's one noticeable thing without actually using it. But hopefully, uh, hopefully it's as awesome as they played it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll uh, hopefully get a few kills with it, and uh, we'll try to shoot a little bit of video and then uh, get your uh, opinions afterwards. Yep, <laughs> All right, Jesse. So you just came off the field, got a chance to uh, try out the new uh, CRB. What were your uh, What were your thoughts with the performance? Uh, well, I appreciated the lightweight. Um, the one thing that I think the only issue I had on the field was uh, at one point when I was using my own mag, which was a newer uh, Dogs of War mid cap. Um, it it did misfeed, but all I had to do was just drop the mag, reseat it, and it started functioning properly. It could have been the mag. Didn't really seem like it was the gun because it did feed six other magazines flawlessly up into that point. Um, it did feed well with the uh, high cap that it comes with, which is all that's important coming right out of the box. Uh, you may not have the same mags as me, so um, I appreciated the range. The range was really good. It seemed like it's you know if I had a, a good beat on somebody, a couple of rounds and I, I hit him, especially a uh, semi. Uh, not a high rate of fire, although I think that can just be fixed with, you know, lipo and mm -hmm. some Dean's connectors. So. We are running it today with the with the nine six battery, so it's not a not extremely high rate of fire, but enough to get the job done. Yeah, so I mean, all in all, on the field, we got a, a good amount of, you know, kills, uh, p positive, for sure. I hit at least six people, so I mean, I. I couldn't ask for much right out of the box. This gun works pretty falsely. Good. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks for testing it out for us. Hi, mom. <laughs>
cool, but I like how it fits perfectly. Yeah. Especially because I don't have the, the biggest fingers, mm -hmm. so it fits perfectly in my hand. All right, so here we are again with uh, Airsoft Hasmin, uh, trying out the uh, Crytek gun a second time. Now, uh, you got a little more action than you did the last time. Last time you were cut short a little bit. Uh, now this time you were team killed a couple of times, so you still were limited in your action. But uh, I saw you, get a, you got at least a couple out there, if not two or three, so... I love it. So any, anything more to say uh, any, now that you were able to uh, put a few more BBs down range this time? I still like it. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Are, there, are there any negatives whatsoever? Because uh, um, well, you said, you said the selector was, switch was a little, yeah, little tough, a little tight, right? And also, uh, I was messing with the hop-up. Okay. Just the T2 five. Okay. And I was like, oh, the number thing's going to be really cool. Uh-huh. You know, but I still have trouble, like... Putting it exactly. I don't know. It's just because I'm not very good with M4s or what, but I, I had trouble just getting it right where I wanted. It is a kind of a unique hop-up system, so yeah. it might be a little, little tough for some people to get used yeah. to. Other than that, I think it's awesome. That's all right. <laughs> I want it so bad. <laughs> Okay, well, Jasmine, thanks for testing it out again, and uh, we'll see you on the field. Okay, and here we are continuing our uh, Crytek CRB test uh, for Gorilla Airsoft, and now we're going to let a, a newer player, this is only your, this is just Justin, right? Justin, this is your second time ever playing Airsoft out here? Yeah. Second time, and you've just been using a rental gun all day, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to let you uh, have a turn at the gun. Now, just holding it, what do you think so far? you have any impressions on, on the gun? Pretty light. Pretty light, yeah, for a full metal gun? Yeah. Cool. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and let you shoot at this game, uh, see what you think, and then we'll uh, ask you some questions afterwards, okay? All right. All right, Justin, thanks a lot. Okay, Justin. So uh, you just finished your round with the gun. Is my bad? I put. I didn't. We, uh, we've had people using it all day long, and uh, you know the battery died on you in the middle of the game. But considering that, when the battery was functional, what did you think about the gun? It was pretty accurate, and it shot really fast. Shot really fast. Obviously, you're, you're used to using a rental gun, so I would imagine the accurate's going to be accuracy is going to be quite a bit better than what you're uh, normally using uh, as a rental gun. Yeah. Cool. So overall, pretty happy with it. Yeah. Again, my, my bad for putting the bad, uh, weak battery in it for you. But other than that, it seemed to shoot pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, Justin. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye. All right, bye. <laughs>